Hi all, Dr. Jarden here, and decided to make a quick little introductory video on signal detection theory because when I was looking through the internet, man, were there some pretty confusing examples and it kind of sent students off in the wrong direction. So I decided to make one myself. So basically all signal detection theory is, is basically trying to understand how we come to make a decision when there's only two possible decisions to make. So let's go off and start with an example here. And for this example, let's talk about an email system. So whenever you're sending an email, the computer has to decide, is this a good email or is this spam? So two choices, either yes, it's good or no, it's not. And all in all, there's four different ways that this can play out. So either the email could actually be a good email and we can decide that yes, it's good or no, it's bad. Or the email itself can be spam and we can decide, yes, it's good or no, it's bad. And based on that, there's four possible outcomes. There's hits, misses, correct rejections, and false alarms. So let's start with the first one, a hit. So, so what is a hit? You get a hit when you <clears throat> correctly identify something that you're supposed to have, you're supposed to say yes to. And that would be a proper email, one that's not spam. So a message from your friend. So that should go into your inbox. And if the algorithm lets that go through, then that was a hit. So what's a miss? A miss is where you misidentify and you improperly label a good message. So you missed the good message and instead it went to your spam folder. What else can happen? A correct rejection. So this is where spam is sent to you and the algorithm properly rejects the spam and realizes that it's spam. And the last option is a false alarm. And this is where something that shouldn't go through gets put through anyway. So in this case, this would be a spam message that makes its way into the inbox. So there's lots of different ways to go about this and lots of different examples. Just to throw out another example really quickly. Say, say you're working at TSA at the airport. A uh, hit would be is, is if you identify somebody that has something dangerous that they're trying to bring in. A miss would be is if you improperly identify someone that's actually a threat and they actually get through, you miss that opportunity. A correct rejection would be if someone is not supposed to, um, doesn't have anything wrong with them and you identify that there's nothing wrong with them, that's a correct rejection. And then a false alarm would be misidentifying somebody and thinking that they have something dangerous when, when they really don't. So, um, basically, when, when doing signal detection theory, that, that's kind of how it works at, at the very basic. So if that's all you need to know, you can tune out the video, uh, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more, um, sometimes it becomes uh, a bit more challenging as, as people are doing signal detection theory and signal detection for like extended periods of time. And sometimes fatigue could get in the way. If you have to make yes, no decisions for a really long time, it taxes the attentional system and, and it can become a bit more difficult. So. If you're interested in hearing more about signal detection theory, some of the more nuanced, uh, more difficult stuff, send me a message. If, if there's people that are interested in that and, and they want to hear more, please let me know. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day.